Hey guys, welcome back. Or oh, if you're new here, hi, I'm Sumin, and today I'll teach you the basics of Canva. And also at the end, we're gonna make a simple and minimal YouTube thumbnail in under a minute. Before we move further, here's a quick screen of some Canva shortcuts you can screenshot and try using daily to make your work easier. So let's get started. First, go to canva.com and log in. If you don't have an account, just sign up with your Gmail account. It's super easy. After logging in, you'll see this dashboard. I know that there's a lot going on here, but don't worry. I'm going to explain everything in the easiest way possible. Right now, we are in the your design section where you can see all of your existing designs that you've made previously in Canva. Next to the your design section, there's the template section where you can find tons of pre-made templates. You can also search for the templates you want. Like here, I'm searching for tiktok video and look at all these amazing templates you can do the same thing for instagram deals and browse through many pro as well as free templates now at the end of this row we have the canva ai section where you can try out the latest ai features from canva this definitely needs a separate video which i'm not covering today but let me know in the comments if you want me to make one on the left hand side there's a panel for different pages first is home where we are right now on the dashboard next is the project option in this section, you can see your designs and even arrange them in different folders and categories, just like I've done with my work. Then we have the template section, which is the same as what we explored on the home page. After that, there's the brand section, which is especially useful for pro users to make brand kits and maintain brand style. Below that, there's the Canva AI option again, which we explored earlier. Under that, we got another section called apps, where you can use many external app features all inside Canva. This is really cool. Now we have the create option. When you click on the create a design, you can select the size of your design from the available options or type in what you want. Like here, I'm searching for YouTube thumbnail size. Click on the option and here we are in the canvas dashboard. At the very top of the canvas, you can see a blue bar with different options which we are going to explore in details. On the left corner, there is a toolbar with different sections, design, elements, text, brand, loads, tools, projects, apps, and magic media. At the very top of this toolbar, we have a hamburger menu from which you can easily switch through your previous designs, which is so helpful. Let's start with the top bar. The very first option is file. It has similar options like any other web app. In file, first we have the rename option for our design. Here I'm typing YouTube thumbnail, let's say. Uh, then we have create new design, which will open a new empty canvas, just like this. Next is upload files. To upload your photos, videos, any Anything you want to import you can also do this by going to the left toolbars upload section and uploading new files now we have settings below the upload files option inside settings you can see a drop down menu there's a show rulers and guides after clicking this you get rulers and guides around your canvas you can drag and bring out lines both vertically and horizontally to guide your designs you can add as many as you want to remove the guides just click the option again next is add guides this option adds guides inside your design in a custom way. For example, here I'm selecting three columns and clicking custom. Then I'm setting the gap to zero pixels and columns to three and hitting add guides. You can see the guides have divided our canvas into three columns with lines. The other options are mainly for document work, which I'm not covering in this video. We also have accessibility options, which we don't need much for this tutorial. Below are the basic options like save, but Canva auto saves your design, so you don't really need this moving to folder helps you arrange your design in a specific folder make a copy helps you du duplicate the design so you can make changes without affecting the original one the rest of them aren't that important at least for me it's not that important now let's explore the main tools of canva in the left sidebar first is design here you can find hundreds of free and pro templates for your design and they are all editable you can search for what you need in the search bar just like i'm doing here if you are looking for a cute log template you can see all these templates and edit them however you want let me take a template and show you how editable it is you can edit any text in the template and just write whatever you want here i'm changing the text to day in my life similarly you can easily replace images in the templates too for that go to uploads and upload your image after uploading just drag and drop it inside the photo area in the template so that's how you can select templates and edit them but i'm going to show you how to build a design from scratch in this video which is much more valuable next we have the elements tab in elements you can search for anything you want to add stickers, photos, frames, illustrations, everything. But there are lots of pro as well as free elements. 
so you need to differentiate between them to tell them apart you can see the crown icon with pro text on the premium elements this is the same for everything like templates and photos too if you're using canva free just ignore the crown icon elements and use the free versions as you wish after selecting elements you can also change the color but not of every element like this one here is a vector art which can change its color but this one here is um an image which we cannot change the color of now we have the text section in this section you can see different options for adding text when you scroll down you can see text templates which you can use and change both the text and color at the very top of the section click on add a text button as you can see a text box appeared right in the center of the canvas you can write whatever text you want just like i did here after this you can see the formatting options in the top panel we can format the text with bold italic underline we can make the text capitalize and add right through let's move to the very first option where it says canvas Sans, which is the default font given by canva when you click on on that font options appear with recommended funds recently used funds and popular funds which you can select from here we also have a search bar to search for what style of funds you want for your design here i'm searching for cute and look how awesome and cute funds just appear make sure to distinguish between free and pro if you are using the free version here i'm selecting the font called bloom skirt now moving on to the top panel you can align the text using alignment options we have list options to make text list form then their spacing letter spacing is an amazing feature to create a space between the letters you can increase or decrease the space according to what you need next we have line spacing for this you need line breaks in your text and only you can increase and decrease the space between lines as you want then we have text position which honestly isn't needed that much there's also transparency to make the text transparent now we have an amazing tool called effects where you can add lots of effects to our text we have different shadow options which you can try each one has set Things you can play around with you can also add effects like glitch and neon change the colors however you want you can even add backgrounds to your text scrolling down in the effects panel we get the shape option with curve in it you can curve the text by selecting it and changing the intensity to whatever shape you want it to look like remove the effects and curves just select none next is animate in the animation section we have like many types of animation styles all for free you can try any one that feels perfect for you in animations there are three categories one is suggested mainly for characters the second is general for the overall whole text and the third one is add-on effects for entire moment animations throughout the timeline in the suggested category you can try animations and you get options to animate on enter on exit or both plus speed controls in some animations you also get direction options where you want the animation to start from in the add-on effects we have four different types of animations for overall animation that stays throughout your whole design you can increase or decrease the intensity of the animation or remove animations if you want there are two sections of animation text which we just explored and phase animation is basically the overall animation for the whole page let me add a background image to make this easier to understand i'm going to the upload section and adding an image as background to the canvas i'm scaling the image up to fit the background and changing the text color to make it clear now go to animate and in the page section try out page animation you can see the whole animation works with both background and the text i hope that's clear now i'm just undoing all the changes beside the animate option we have the position option you can align text vertically or horizontally to any corner or center of the page next to the arrange panel we have layers to make this easier to understand i'm bringing a rectangle by hitting r on the keyboard now you can see that i can drag the layer of the rectangle and drop it above the text and the text will go behind the box for easier control you can also right click the box or whatever object you want to arrange and go to layer then play with the options whether you want to bring it to front or send it back let's move back to the tool panel below the text option we have brand this is for pro users where you can add your brand values like logos colors for your funds and everything brand related below brand is uploads which is an amazing option we used it earlier so let's understand it more easily in this section we can upload any files like photos videos audio or folders by hitting the upload files button just like here i uploaded an image from my laptop click on the photo to bring it inside the canvas i'm removing the text since we've learned everything about text now for photos you can increase or decrease the size by dragging the edge but this will only change one edge if you want to increase or decrease all sides equally just hold the option or alt key while dragging it out now let's look at the edit option we get with images go to the edit section in the top panel and you can see many available options first is the adjust bar where you can tweak the style of your image brightness contrast and everything here i'm showing some examples by increasing the temperature to make it warmer and increasing 
a bed of tint which makes the image pinkish or greenish in tone. Now comes the turn of Magic Studio. I think these are the most beautiful tools in Canva that I use daily. But these are all pro tools. So if you're using the free version, you can easily skip this part. In Magic Studio, first comes Beasy Remover. It basically removes the background of your images. As you can see, it removed the background so cleanly. But there's more you can do. Click on the white setting circle appearing above the icon. Now you have two options available. Erase and Restore. Erase helps you erase unwanted area with a brush. You can adjust the brush size as you want. And Restore does the opposite. You can use the Show Original Image option to see the removed background and light transparency and start restoring the parts you need with the Restore brush. After Busy Remover, we have Busy Generator. Background Generator basically. Of course, it generates background with AI. All you need to do is describe what you need in the background for this image. For this image, I'm asking for a beautiful garden with butterflies. If you like it, you can keep it or generate again. Next, we have Magic Erase, which helps you erase any elements you want to remove from the image. All you need to do is paint on the object you want to remove and hit Erase. Then we have Magic Grab. It helps you grab any object and bring it out the image. You just need to select the click option, click on the object, then hit Grab. You can see how easily it got separated from the rest of the image. Now we have Magic Edit. Magic Edit is all about changing things with AI. First, paint above the object you want to edit, then describe what you want. I'm painting above the skirt of the girl and describing turn the skirt color to red. It's not usually perfectly accurate, but it works fine. Finally, we have Magic Expand. Magic Expand helps you to expand the background with the help of AI. Select the Expand option, select and select a size. Here, I'm doing the whole piece. Then hit Expand and you get four options of backgrounds. Isn't it amazing? After Magic Studio, we come to Filters. In the Filter option, select so all and you can go through lots of free filters to add you can try any and play with the intensity if you want to remove the filter just select the none option now we come to effect effects is one of the handiest tool in canva which i love first is shadow we have glow shadow drop shadow outline curve shadow page lift angle shadow and backdrop each creates a different shadow effect for your images and you can play around with the settings too next is duotone a tool that lets you change the colors of your image you'll find plenty of preset color options here but you can also customize it by choosing your own highlight and shadow colors next come blur effects we have two styles one is a brush where you can adjust the brush size and intensity and paint above the surface you want to blur out the other is whole image blur which blurs the entire image and gives you control to adjust intensity then we have autofocus with two options blur intensity and focus position you can shift the area of focus with using this effect we also have face retouch which is just a basic effect of retouch faces. The last part of effects is app. Canva has very amazing apps which need a whole video. Let me know if you want to set. Now we have the tools options in the left toolbar which gives us a select tool. Markers for freehand drawing. It's not super accurate but works well. You can use two markers to play with colors and adjust weight or transparency. Then start drawing around the canvas as you want. We also have a highlighter and an eraser. Isn't it cool? Next are shapes. You can click and bring shapes into the canvas. Then comes line sticky notes, text, and tables. After the tools section comes projects. Here your previous designs and folders are stored. Then comes app. Here you can find outside apps to run in Canva to make your work easier. I'll make a whole tutorial on this. Let me know in the comment section. We have magic media. It's just like the mid journey of Canva. Then we have photos where you can find free and pro images to use in your designs and projects. You can search for what type of photo you want. Like here I'm searching for smile and smile photos appear. Now next we got audio. This this is an amazing and awesome option by Canva. You can search for many copyright free songs and music, both free and pro. You can search for music free and then use it in your videos and reels, just like I do usually. Then we have got videos here where you can find amazing stock free videos. And here comes a good thing, backgrounds. You can find backgrounds for your design. Just search what you need. Like if you want a pink background search and see what works. But honestly, I usually like to bring backgrounds for Pinterest. Then we have charts, which you can use for projects or documents and captions mainly for videos to auto generate captions with ai now i'm going to make a clean simple thumbnail to let you understand how design works in canva 
This is a very easy and simple example. For more advanced tutorials, you can watch my other videos. I'm uploading a background image for my thumbnail, clicking on the image and bringing it into the canvas, then scaling it to fit the background. Oh, I forget to tell you guys that you can collapse the toolbar by clicking on the little arrow icon in the center. You can also zoom in or zoom out using the little zoom controls at the bottom. Now I'm adding text by entering T on the keyboard, or you can also go to the text option and add a text box. I'm increasing the size of the text and writing a day in my life. Now I'm selecting the text and changing the font. I'm searching for elegant fonts. I'm using the seasons fonts, which I find to be good. Now I'm duplicating the main text by hitting the duplicate option in the toolbar, rewriting the text to cozy vlog, making it smaller and changing the font to alike. Now I'm heading to effects and adding a subtle shadow on both text, increasing the intensity to 100. To make the text pop more from the background, we need an overlay. I'm bringing a rectangle box by entering R, increasing the size to cover the background. Now I'm changing the color to something darker than the background image and lowering the transparency. I changed the box color to black, it's looking good. You can see the difference before and the after overlay. I'm adding a line by entering L, bringing it to the left side of the subtext just for subtle design and stuff then holding option or alt to make a copy and dragging it to the right side now i'm going to elements and searching for coffee this is a pro version but you can replace it with any free coffee element not a big deal to change the color go to the top panel and select the color circle i'm changing it to white making it smaller and placing it next to the text now i'm adding another text box changing it to books changing the font to a uh, sans font called dm sans turning it to italic and making it small and placing it in the corner. I'm holding option and dragging it to another corner which makes a duplicate of the text. I'm changing this text to movies, repeating the same process again and again and changing another text to coffee and another to cooking and chill. I'm selecting each of these corner text and lowering the transparencies so they don't highlight too much. I'm also lowering the transparency of the overlay box and making the main text, lines and coffee elements bigger. Here's a quick tip. To add more pages, you can click add page just below the canvas. To duplicate the canvas or design, you can select the duplicate icon at the very top. To delete, just hit the trash icon. To see all your pages, go to the right corner and click on the grid icon. You can see all the pages in a smaller view. Also for ease, you can click on the pages option in the same right corner which switches views between the pages and thumbnails. As our thumbnail is ready, now we are going to download it. At the upper right hand side, you can see a button called share. Click on the share button, then hit the download button. At the top, you can see the file type in the drop down. There are various format options, but here we are going to select PNG format. The size is perfect. We won't mess with it. Canva Pro has different options to limit size, compress file, and make backgrounds transparent, which we don't need right now. Here you can see we have two pages, so we are going to select page one and hit download. And we have created something amazing with Canva with all basics covered. That's it for today's tutorial. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and let me know in the comments what other Canva tutorials you'd like to see. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.